The 2022 general election in Arizona was botched and broken beyond repair. Election day was 13 days ago, and Maricopa County is still counting ballots. Printer problems, tabulation errors, three-hour-long lines, and even longer. And confusing instructions given by election officials made this election day the most chaotic in Arizona's history. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojet here, and Carrie Lake is off in MAGA fairy tale land and completely in denial that she lost her election. And with 99% currently reporting, it's looking like Katie Hobbs will be the next governor of Arizona. Now, this is the same exact playbook as Donald Trump in the months prior to 2020 presidential election. We have videos of Steve Bannon and Roger Stone saying it out loud. We will act as though it was stolen. So if we lose, then the results are questioned. And Carrie Lake has followed that through from during her debate, refusing to say she would accept the results if she lost to doing just that. Half of voting centers that opened for the first time on election day, where the overwhelming majority of voters were voting for Carrie Lake, were not operational or had significant failures. Would you get on an airplane if half of the engines didn't work? Would our friends in the media be able to broadcast their nightly propaganda if only half of their studio equipment was working? Carrie Lake is both upset that ballots are still being counted, but also claiming there is fraud and that votes for her simply weren't counted. She's complaining about long lines on election day, but the GOP has been hell bent on telling people that the only legitimate day to vote was November the 8th. The 2022 general election in Arizona was botched and broken beyond repair. Thankfully, the Attorney General's office is demanding answers from Maricopa County. Attorney General Mark Brnovich is taking the first steps necessary to remedy this assault on our democracy. This isn't about Republicans or Democrats. This is about our sacred right to vote, a right that many voters were sadly deprived of on November 8th. Tens of thousands of you have reached out, pleading with me to fight this fight. Rest assured, I will, because if we give up now, we will no longer have a country. She even refers to herself in the third person, just like Donald Trump. This is as blatant as it gets, folks. She's MAGA cracked through and through, and she's not going down without a big old Trump-style temper tantrum. And she'll bring lawsuits forward just like Trump and lose, because even if there was some fraud, it wouldn't amount to the almost 20,000 votes she's behind on. Note that she specifically says the general election was botched, but none of these people sound the alarm when they win their primaries. Imagine that. If they are winning, then it's not rigged. Sounds like Vegas to me. And she's putting all in on having the right hand when she's going to lose. Governor-elect Hobbs, thank you very much for joining us tonight. But you have folks like my opponent, Carrie Lake, uh, the Republicans up and down the ticket who are refusing to accept the results. They're calling for uh, redo of the election. Uh, so of course, what are their followers going to do? They think this election was stolen, just like they're led to believe that the 2020 election was stolen. Uh, it's simply not the case, uh, but they're being uh, uh, egged on by their political leaders. It's unfortunate. We've already seen how this plays out, folks. You cry wolf until you send a literal pack of them to the Capitol to prove that they are right by violently attacking police officers and hunting lawmakers. No one is rooting for election fraud except the MAGA GOP. Let's be clear. Nobody wants there to be evidence of voter fraud more than these people. Will they co-opt the words used against Donald Trump in the aftermath of January the 6th? They are crying because they lost, just like him. And how concerned are they really with the integrity of elections when the investigation into Trump and foreign influences on the election was a witch hunt to them? But now it's just because they're losing. Ask yourself, who has really made you question the process of elections more than Republicans? And then ask yourself why, because it didn't seem to be this massive issue until Trump came along. And we again have video evidence of Trump supporters saying on camera that they voted for him twice. And you know what? They got in trouble because it's against the law. If they want to restore faith and trust in the electoral system, then maybe they should try it themselves. When you lose, lose with grace. Don't be a big crybaby. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.